All right, I hope everyone who's watching this is well in the name of Jesus Christ. The sound should hopefully be better in videos now. I've got this microphone. Um, right, about a week ago, I had a lady in the comments section. I, I believe it was a lady. But apologies if it's not. It wasn't clear from your username asking about the carnivore diet and do I still do it? I posted a video, I think, in February last year. Might be wrong, but I think February last year about the carnivore diet. And I would say I've been doing carnivore for around two years now. In the last kind of two and a half years, I'd say I've done two years carnivore. And the last year and a half especially, I would say... 95% of my diet has been strict carnivore. Now, what I would say is getting to that 95% in terms of the progress I'm seeing now, that's about 50% of the way. And then that last 5%, removing extra carbs and things you're getting from, and sugars, from sauces, from glazes, from having breaded, you know, chicken and meat and stuff like that, uh, as well as just removing sweets and snacks. That is the next 50% of the difference that I've noticed. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Now, would I go back to eating everyday food that most people eat? Absolutely not. I've had major spinal surgery in my life and I have to be mindful of the way I exercise, the way I go about life and do things. Um, I've changed my diet massively and I've noticed it, there's loads of research on this stuff. If people want me to put information, I, I can chuck some stuff in the comments. Just please leave a comment. Um, but having sugar and things like that, it hardens our arteries. Um, it can raise inflammation and stuff like that. And I've noticed I've been able to sleep in positions and ways that I had not been able to do for a long, long time. Um, I've noticed my general physical health be far, far better. I haven't actually been to the gym or had a gym membership since June last year. So over a year now, nearly. Um, and it's, yeah, it's life changing. It's life changing. I, what I would say is, You've got to be disciplined. You've got to get through the first, especially the first two weeks. I've noticed this with caffeine. I've noticed this with carnivore. I've noticed this with sugar. If you get through the first two weeks, you should be fine. A lot of people will have withdrawal symptoms like headaches and you'll have times in the evening, especially when you're tired where you just feel like things are crazy. Those are the times you've got to pray. You've got to seek the Lord and you've just got to listen to the Holy Spirit and see what the Holy Spirit's guiding. Because there's times it's not nice. If you're, it's like your skin's crawling at times. You're extremely frustrated. and But you've just got to get through that. Um, the last 5%, like I said, it was such a big, big difference. Um, I've noticed jaw pain go down, headaches go and stuff like that. And this has obviously been with prayer as well. The Lord's led me in this you know, lifestyle, I guess. Like It's called carnivore diet. I don't consider it a diet because I eat as much as I want. I eat until I'm full, but I only eat what I need now, whereas before eating was just like an exhibition. It was purely a, a pleasure, a hedonistic kind of thing. Now it is literally just, do I, need, do I need to have more salt? Yeah, I'll have more salt. Do I need a bit more fat? All right, I'll have some more fat. Do I need more protein? I'll have more protein. It's usually not the case with protein. I'm getting loads of that, but... um. I'm, I don't say this in a vain way, but if people want to, if people want to see like the difference that actually having this lifestyle is, I'm not going to take before and after topless pics or anything like that. No interest. Don't think it's godly. But you will see just in my face if you go back to a video from like three, four-ish years ago when I started this channel, and look at me now, you'll you'll see a massive not just in the barnet and that's English lingo for haircut. But you can just tell in my face, like the proof is in the pudding. I've lost over three stone since um, since doing this this diet, and my sleep is better. Everything's better. 
So the question you're probably asking is, what do you eat? How do you survive? Well, your body gets used to it. What I eat is I eat fatty meat, fatty fish, eggs, full fat yogurt. Um, I have almond milk. I don't even really have whole milk anymore, but I have whole milk if you want. And all I drink is milk, almond milk, water, and that's it. I don't even have coconut juice anymore. I don't have aloe vera. I don't have any juice anymore. And cutting those things out has made a huge, huge difference. And all I can say is simple answer, pray to the Lord. If you're struggling with this, pray to the Lord. Because it shows what an idol these things are. I'm not talking about if someone's genuinely in starvation mode. But a lot of our hunger isn't genuine. It's just habitual. Our body's used to eating at that time of the day. The brain's used to getting its dopamine hit at that time of the day. A lot of this hunger is just sugar cravings. So it's just it's just not valid. It's just not valid. And people aren't even aware of what their bodies need anymore, what they're going through. So I have this diet. I usually have only really one actual meal a day. So I'll, I'll have a window where I'll eat my meat and my yogurt, eggs, whatever else. And then if I still need a bit more, I'll just snack on a bit more yogurt normally and I'm okay. I have um, multivitamins, so I take a multivitamin every day. I take vitamin D3 as well as K2 along with that yogurt and, and, and milk and whatever because the calcium helps you absorb it. But you have to take the D3 and the K2. Most people on the planet are, are vitamin D3 deficient due to lack of sun exposure. And you'll notice massive, massive differences. All I can say is if you're watching this, you're probably you're either interested um, or you're already in it. Um, so the way I would say this has helped my Christian walk is the fact that my mind's just a lot calmer. My body's a lot calmer. I'm not going through these states of withdrawal and anxiety and the shakes and all that. Because no one can say that they're sober and sober-minded when they're in those, those peaks and troughs of caffeine and sugar highs and lows. No one can make that argument to me. I've seen the difference. I've seen the light of, of the fact that many people have been lied to and Satan has used food and beverages and weaponized them against God's people. So many are falling into this trap. I've made a short, recently a YouTube short video where I've said sugar is an idol. The fact that people cannot get away from added sugar for, you know, a week. And it's like, it's like they're losing the will to live shows what an idol this is. It shows what an idol this is. This isn't oxygen. Yes, our bodies have need of sugar, but there are natural sugars that come through yogurt, through milk and stuff like that. And I'm two weeks into completely cutting out all um, added sugar in my diet. I don't have honey. I don't literally nothing. And I've noticed a huge difference. And I don't know how long I've been basically 100% carnivore gone from that 95 to 100%. But all of this in conjunction, it meant that there was a week, week to two weeks of real agony. But then after that, all good. So if anyone's got any questions, chuck them in the comments. I'll, I'll give an answer. But that's, that's basically what I do. I eat once a day, meat, fish, eggs. I eat way less than I used to. Now I've removed sugar. I've not actually even dropped away. I'm sure for other people they would. But my body cleaned up massively anyway. I don't have pains in my chest anymore. I don't have headaches. I don't have jaw pain. Um, my sleep is better. I don't have crazy dreams really so much anymore. I don't have anxiety, PTSD. And obviously some of this was spiritual as well. Um, and yeah, my body's just more flexible and more, more able. And all glory to God. Because a lot of this unnatural stuff that's in our food, just like that, it's unnatural. We shouldn't be having it. Our bodies aren't used to processing these things and it's giving people cancer, it's causing people problems. Um, there's many studies to back up what I'm saying here. I'm not just 
talking rubbish here. There's a lot of lot of evidence to back up what I'm saying. But it's one of those things, the proof is in the pudding. You will see this if and when you do this yourself. And if you're afraid, give that fear to the Lord. Because we have not been given a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.